So what fun and exciting event do we have next week? Final exam, right? This is your last opportunity to show off. Right? Last opportunity to show off. And for most of you, the overwhelming majority of you, the last opportunity you have to show off in an accounting class. So please do. Now, what do you want to know about the final? Well, the, ans the answers to number one through 40, but what about number 41 through 50? I don't know. Yes, ma'am. Sir. Sir. So your final itself is not part of the final. That is a correct statement. My final is not cumulative. The department final is. Okay. Sorry? Couple of things. One, there are 30 questions. Oh, wait, sorry. This is in the wrong folder. My final has 29 questions. Each worth how many points per the syllabus? Five, okay. So that is my syllabus. What topics will that cover? Just the topics since the last exam. What have we covered since the last exam? Standard costs. Standard costs capital budgeting. And cost of quality. And then uh, my little list says, 18. My little list says most, th there are more. Wait, if you had to pick one chapter, which chapter do you think would have the most questions of those three? Capital budgeting, if only because there were lots of different topics, right? So capital budgeting has the most, cost of quality has the least, plus there, is, there are two, I've got written down here, there are two absorption costing problems. Um, and we'll review a little bit, make sure I review that. Uh, two absorption costing problems and those all add up to those 29 questions advertised on the syllabus. So far, so good? So how many questions on the department exam? 16, those are cumulative. And what I'm going to give you, what I'm going to read off for you are the, the these, this, I'm actually going to hand you two documents. You can do the, uh, at the same time at the beginning of class, so you can do either one. You can s switch between them. You can do whatever. You, know, you can test take however you wish to between those two exams. When you come to class, you're allowed to have a cheat sheet. How, many pa how big can this one be? One piece of paper, both sides. Okay, so as much as you can fit in one eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, front and back. So that's kind of nice, right? And then so sections, what I'm going to read off for you are the sections of the cumulative exam and they will actually be labeled as such. So these sections will be labeled as such on the exam. So section number one, relevant costs. Okay, section number one, relevant costs. Section number two, cost volume profit analysis. Cost volume profit analysis, CVP. Number three, section number three, product costing. Product costing, now that's kind of an unusual, that's not a phrase we've used very much. What product costing represents is there are three ways to answer the question, how much does it cost? That's what product costing is referring to. The answers, the ways to answer the question, how much does it cost, okay? The ways to answer the question, how much does it cost? That is what product costing is. Okay, so that's going to be on the exam. Uh, and it's also the biggest section. All se every section I name has at least two questions. Every one has at least two questions. This particular section has five. Okay? So that's the biggest section. Uh, budgeting is the next section. Budgeting. 
And then the last section is labeled ethics. And it is asking you to remember there was an assignment that you did very early in the semester. First week might have been your first assignment. That topic area from literally the first assignment or the first week or two of class. That's what the ethics is referring to. Okay? And that is 16 questions worth how many points apiece? Five. Okay? And <clears throat> one of the benefits of having Dr. Fessler for this class is Dr. Fessler, uh, the, when I first got here, because there's a, there's a department exam because this class is taught by more than one person. And so this is a way to kind of make sure that I'm not slouching, if you will. And a benefit to you is that I had a lot more to do with this exam than I did with the exam that was given when I first arrived here. Okay, so, so in some sense, I hope that's a, that's a benefit to you in the sense that, you know, the, the, the electronic version, the electronic copy of this exam, Armando, welcome, sir. The electronic version of this exam sits on my computer, so I've had more to do with it, and so hopefully that will, hopefully it's therefore a little more familiar to you than, than uh, I know it's more familiar to you than the prior editions were that uh, existed uh, prior to that happening. So questions, comments, concerns, random thoughts about any of that stuff so far? Anyone? I have no idea. When do grades get posted? The, um, a week or so after? Yeah. But I will post your final exam grades, just like I've posted everything else, so you should be able to get very close to knowing what your grade in my class is, regardless. Yes, sir? There is not. The, the review is only the non-cumulative parts. And so you can look at the old reviews for the cumulative parts for those areas. Okay? Any, any other question? It's always exciting to do that on film. Questions, comments, concerns, random thoughts? Are we ready to review then? Yes? Capital budgeting. Let's do capital budgeting first since it was. What was the first problem we did in class? Uh, Davis. What was the first problem we did in class for capital budgeting? Uh, 